people fleeing the fighting in eastern Ukraine are now witnessing attacks in the western part of the country. Russia bombed the city of Lviv, killing at least seven people. Thick black smoke rose over the city following a series of explosions. Lviv has only seen sporadic strikes until this point. Ukrainians are still fighting to keep the port city of Mariupol. Banfield Crowther, Associated Press affiliate correspondent, joins us now from Lviv. Philip, great to see you. Uh, tell us more about the situation on the ground in Lviv. Yeah, well, this was the first time for a long time that we saw those plumes of black smoke here over this western city of Lviv only once so far since Russia's invasion of Ukraine had there been attacks on another target within this city. What we saw here in the morning were four missiles that came in. I heard two of them saw some of these explosions just a few miles away from here. And what we found out later from Ukrainian authorities is that these were four missiles that hit, at least in three cases, their intended military targets. We don't have any more details on what exactly those targets were. Military infrastructure is as far as the explanation here goes. But the other one doesn't appear to have uh, hit its target, except if a car repair shop seems like a legitimate military target, because that's what we saw a few hours ago here in Lviv when we went to uh, where one of those missiles struck, a car repair shop where the cars were burnt out, the houses were destroyed, and in fact, right next to it uh, stood or still stands a hotel in which a lot of displaced people from other parts of Ukraine were staying because they had fled the east, for example, to come here to the west to be in a safer place. They might feel differently about this area now. And the death toll you just said, seven dead at least, 11 injured at least, and among those 11, three in a critical condition. Among the injured, by the way, a three-year-old boy, according, according to the local authorities here in Lviv, uh, not badly injured, but he, they tell us, came here to Lviv with his mother from Kharkiv. Kharkiv is in the northeast, just outside of the Donbass area, a very dangerous place right now. And they must feel like they're in a slightly more dangerous place than they thought they were going to be in here in Lviv tonight. And Philip, I'm curious, any idea why it was targeted Lviv? Yeah, it's a good question. Uh, it looks like what we're seeing now happening over the last few hours, in fact, is that that Russian offensive that had been talked about so much that had been expected appears to be underway now in the east of Ukraine, in the Donbass region. That's where Russian troops want to take control of as large a part of that territory as they possibly can. Now, what does this part of the, the country so far away have to do with it? Well, it would look like uh, Russian forces are trying to hurt Ukrainian military infrastructure, its logistics chain as well, because through the Western Ukraine come a lot of weapons shipments, for example, toward the center of Ukraine and toward the east of Ukraine, where those weapons are so needed. Uh, that's why military targets are being hit. And it was something that Moscow had warned about, that more military targets were going to be hit in the capital city, Kyiv. Well, it turns out that's not the only place that has been targeted by Russia over the last few days as part of what would appear to be a new tactic of hitting places with missiles outside of the east, but at the same time, that ground offensive starting in that Donbass region in the east right now. Philip, we have a little less than a minute left, uh, but I do want to ask you this. You know, over the weekend, President Zelensky said that Ukraine needs to be prepared for the possibility of a nuclear attack from Russia. Um, how are Ukrainians reacting to that, and what are you hearing? Look, the thing is that this is a country that has had to adapt so, so quickly that to a new reality that people are not really shocked but uh, to hear sentences like that one from their own president, a very popular man, by, by the way, right now here in Ukraine. These people have had to adapt very, very quickly to this new reality from being a country at peace, though knowing relatively at peace they'd been at war for eight years in the Donbass region with Russian-backed separatists, but never thought that it could come to this, to an all-out war by its neighbor against the whole of the Ukrainian territory. And they've seen the things that have happened in their country. They've seen what Russian troops left behind on the outskirts of Kiev. They are seeing the death count go up uh, terribly in cities like Mariupol in the southeast as well, that nothing would surprise people here. That is the simple truth. And that includes people here in Lviv. This is a very peaceful place, except this morning when those missiles uh, struck here uh, in western Ukraine. Mm. So concerning, Phil, thank you so much for reporting. We appreciate it. Please stay safe.